Well, look at the rosette of that leopard through the bush. Now, it is very thick here at the moment. But um, what's actually happened now, I'm not sure exactly which leopard this is. I must be honest. We'll just have a look and see. But it's a male and female. However, the female is acting quite aggressively towards this young male. There we go. Oh, look at that. Now, I wonder if there's a kill or anything around here. I'm not sure. There we go. You can see the face. Maybe some of you can tell us. Is that leopard going to jump up into the tree? Let's see. The way it was looking up, it almost looked like it was. See, this leopard is very nervous of the other one. So that would... Oh dear, look at that. <laughs> Directly behind that branch now. Let's just wait and be patient. I'm trying to see if you can see that female anywhere. Can you see anything? Yeah. I'm just having a good look with my binoculars quickly. Just to see, wow, they really are almost invisible through this thick. It's so thick here at the moment. Oh, is, is that a moving through there? Oh dear. Oh, Beard, do you say the leopards aren't being very cooperative today? No, not at all. But that's why they're elusive. There's no vehicle behind me, eh, Craig? Uh. Copy that. I'm going to try to drop back down into the drainage then. Sorry, see the multitasking again. I'm going to try and get out of here, see if we can drop down into that drainage line again. They're moving around a bit, um, so it is always difficult. Don't worry, we're almost out of here. We'll go around back the way we came into that drainage line. Um, and see but it's interesting the female was definitely growling at that young male so I don't think they are related so, anyway we'll see when we get a better view of them maybe we can tell who they are and then I can explain a little bit more what's going on all right all right let's head back to Tara quickly while I get out of here and then hopefully we'll have a better view of these leopards shortly Right, look at this now. Yeah, we've got a lovely view of these leopards, both of them. That's the young male. Let's see, now he's contact calling. I'm not sure who this is. I don't know, this looks like... Is this not Tumba? Oh, beautiful. Look at that. What a wonderful view. Good afternoon. What a nice surprise. Some growling going on by that um, by the female. So maybe some of you can give us an idea. Who do you think this is? This looks like it's possibly Tandy lying down here. Older female leopard. And is this not... Shay, you think it's possibly Tandy? that female there we go that's a nice view of her and she's growling at this young male leopard 
I think it might be Hosanna and Tandy. Debbie, you, you seem to think it is definitely Tanyan. But watch watch us. Let's see what happens here. This is going to be interesting. Wow, look at that. Very aggressive. Very aggressive towards him. Wow, what a wonderful sighting. Isn't this amazing? Now... I'm assuming that this young male, because he's nomadic, he's moving around a lot, he's very curious, inquisitive, and it's funny, Tara was chatting about this earlier, the leopard density causes a lot more interaction than we know of, and this is exactly what's happened here, I think. This young male, moving around a lot, he's found a female leopard, and he's curious, he's inquisitive, he wants to know who is this female he's definitely interacted with her a few times and once or twice we think that um that she even had a kill and he came in and tried to take the kill away from her but you see he's he's lying down he's trying not to notice her she's growling at him she's hissing at him see that it's an incredible sound that growl of a leopard but she's not happy with him being too close trying to warn him off typical young male he is he's inquisitive and I think that's why he's trying to get closer to this female but she's ha not having any of it but he is a large leopard though even though he's inexperienced and very young he's still bigger than this female so she will be careful but her experience will be able to to chase him off definitely isn't this amazing what a wonderful sighting Donna, I think one of the main reasons, or a few of the reasons why there are so many leopard in this area, the habitat suits them very well. Thick areas, drainage lines, wonderful areas for these leopards to hide in, perfect habitat. Look at that. Isn't that a beautiful view? So perfect habitat for these leopards. There's water and there's an abundance of food. So it is well suited for these big cats. And I think that is why there are so many leopards in the area. We were lucky. These leopards came out exactly where we thought they would. John, you said these look so awesome. It is wonderful to see these leopards. And the light now is beautiful. I'm just trying to think. I wonder. I just want to perhaps try and maneuver the vehicle again. Just to allow space for the other two vehicles. Um, obviously other people that are around that want to see these leopards. I don't know where about where Tara is perhaps we can link to Tara quickly and just while I try work out exactly and give space for the other vehicles so everybody can have a good view um, and just here if Alice will be able to link across to Tara and then we'll spend some more time with these leopards um, Alice Alice <laughs> where's Alice Alright, so we just, uh, 
All right, let, let me just try reposition quickly, and let's go across to Tara, see where she's going, and then um, and then he can come back to us once we've done that.